Normally, the pier was bustling with activity, even in the early morning hours, but today, hardly anyone was around. Typically, fishermen would line up alongside the edge, casting their rods into the Pacific Ocean and spending the morning lost in banter, retrieving the occasional catch. But today, it was just the cries of seagulls circling overhead and the waves, slapping the underside of the pier more aggressively. Somewhere far off the coast, thunder rumbled, and the occasional lightning bolt escaped the sky. The incoming storm was just hours away from making landfall. Even the most avid fishermen decided to skip today's Saturday pastime and avoid showing up so close to the storm, but Aaron and Sam were not going to be swayed. They both pulled up to the pier around the same time and unloaded their fishing accessories, heading over to the pier to set up. It's a ghost town out here, Sam commented. That storm is not even here yet, but all those guys run off to hide, I guess. Good luck to them finding something better to do, Aaron mused sarcastically. Here we are, two guys who've been out here every Saturday of fishing season for more than two decades. This is just our Saturday morning at this point. It's just what we do. Sam smiled as he set up his fishing gear. Probably will be accused of whistling up a gale to scare everyone else off, especially if the catch is good. Aaron rolled his eyes. I can't believe that old whistling superstition is still making its rounds. It's so foolish. If you whistle, a storm comes. What a load. He got his line ready to cast as the gust of wind came through and the waves became rougher. Just like women or bananas on boats being bad luck. Someone just came up with it, and a bunch of fishing fools took it as gospel, blaming random nonsense for their misfortunes. Sam chuckled. Yep, but really, they just think the storms will scare the fish away. Aaron looked up. Well, they do scare everyone else away. Just look around. When the rain is heavy and the winds are high, the smaller ones will scatter, it's true, but that's when the big ones come to bite, Sam responded. Maybe it's just me, but stormy weather seems like a great time to reel in the big guys. You expect to reel in a few 15-pounders today then, Sam? Aaron asked, laughing. That would be a great way to prove your beliefs. That sounds a lot like a challenge. Sam looked up at Aaron as a rogue breeze passed between the two. Little wager on who pulls up the biggest catch in the face of the storm? Aaron's eyes lit up. A bet would make the day on an empty pier with a friend more fun. Hundred dollars sounds like a fair bet to me. You're on, Sam shot back and continued setting up his equipment, now more enthused to get this fishing show on the road. A few minutes later, both anglers cast their fishing lines in the water and stood silently observing the storm in the distance. The dark clouds were getting closer and the thunder was more prominent than before. They would see the occasional walker along the pier and a couple of bicyclists looking to squeeze in a ride before the weather turned really sour. Other than that, no fishermen showed up today. I heard there would be big fish biting today since the storm scared away the little ones, Aaron remarked with a smirk, looking over at Sam and winking. Sounds like there wasn't a lot of truth to that whole room. Aaron cut off suddenly and turned his attention to his rod. Sam looked over to see Aaron's line tugging tightly and the rod bending at the top as Aaron tried to get his wits about him and refocus his attention. Sam's eyes widened. Did he just will good fishing fortunes into existence for his friend? So much for mocking fishing superstitions. He preferred that he got the catch of the day, but that was still a bit too surreal and timely to be happening. Oh, I got something big here. This one's a fighter. Oh man, you might have been right about big biters in the storm, Aaron said loudly, struggling to keep his violently thrashing line from being yanked from his grasp. He chanced reaching for the reel, but as soon as he took one hand off, he almost lost grip on his rod entirely. He gripped with both hands again and looked over to Sam. A little help? It took Sam a couple of seconds to realize Aaron was asking for assistance, at which point he quickly set his line down in the rod holder and stepped over to help his friend. When Sam gripped the rod with both hands, Aaron began to turn the reel as quickly as he could. The wind was picking up from the ocean, and the salt water particles were being flung right into their faces. Neither had glasses or a hood on, and their hands were occupied gripping Aaron's fishing rod. They turned their eyes downward as they held tight, and Aaron turned the reel. Something broke the surface of the water attached to the hook at the end of the fishing line. While they were both looking away to keep the wind and water out of their eyes and couldn't look at what it was they were pulling up, the creature attached was clearly a big catch. Sam chanced a glance, 
but all he saw was a thrashing silhouette as he was forced to turn his eyes back down and away from the wind and the rain that was now starting to fall harder. Aaron kept turning the reel as both men hung on to the fishing line when all of a sudden all the pressure disappeared and the rod snapped back up in the air like a whip with a terrifying whooshing sound. With sudden and unexpected relief, both Aaron, Sam, and Aaron's fishing rod were sent flying backward, toppling over onto the wet boardwalk in a heap. They landed and looked at each other, knowing that the big catch managed to break the fishing line and had now escaped back into the ocean. Oh, come on, Aaron yelled over the wind. That's just my luck. That'll be the last time I try to save money on fishing lines. Sam got up and shook himself off, though the hardening rain made him just as wet all over again. He pulled his hood on. Well, for a moment there, you had a bigger catch than me. Not sure where that puts our bet. He smiled and looked beyond Aaron, with the smile suddenly disappearing from his face. Oh no, no, Sam yelled, and rushed past Aaron back into the direction of his equipment. Aaron was confused, so he turned around as he worked his way to his feet. Sam was practically diving after his rod, which it seems dislodged from its holder with the wind, falling backward and being twisted as the line was dragging it into the ocean. It was ready to slide under the pier's ocean-facing rails that got caught on the reel handle, though that catch was ready to slip away. Aaron instinctively scrambled toward that direction as well, as if two men gripping at the fishing line would have had a better chance of letting it slip away. Sam was there first and caught the tail end of the rod moments before the force of the pull yanked it down. He quickly got another hand on it and pulled it towards himself. Aaron was there quickly joining in, as Sam pulled back the fishing rod, Aaron pulled at the line, which seemed to be resistant to coming out of the water, being held by the oncoming rounds of waves. Sam got his bearings and used a reel to pull the line back in. When it came up, both men stood up and leaned on the pier rails, trying to catch their breath. Well, I'd say you win that bet, Aaron said through an uneasy smile. Wait, what? Sam looked confused. The way I see it, I was in the lead till the line broke, but then you catching that line before your expensive equipment was lost to the storm and the waves? Well, I'd say that was a more impressive catch than my failed one, Aaron explained. Sam laughed. Come on, man. I can't take your money for that. Another gust of wind slammed the coast and the rain intensified again. I think we got all the action we could handle trying to brave this storm. Aaron nodded his head in agreement. Listen. How about we split the difference? We can call off the hundred dollar bet, but we pack our stuff and call the only thing being lost is half of my line a success on a day like this. How about we hit the breakfast place a couple blocks down instead and wait out some of this rain? You had the catch of the day, so you know what? Breakfast is my treat. Sam grinned. I'll take the win, and who am I to turn down a free breakfast?